What a joy to be able to honour this power couple. <laughs> As an ardent feminist, I very much wanted to start with Suzanne. But as the matter is so tied up with the Burnett Institute, uh, and as John, for better or for worse, was the director, I have to start with him. The most important thing to say is that Suzanne was so much a partner that she deserves a huge chunk of the credit for the remarkable progress of Burnett, including the fact that she forged her own independent scientific career. John Mills graduated in medicine from Harvard University and soon joined the University of California in San Francisco Medical School, where he forged a 20-year career as a physician scientist, specialising in infectious diseases. He saw the birth of the AIDS pandemic in the early and mid-1980s and made a big mark in HIV research, particularly in clinical trials which were eventually to prove enormously successful. He also worked in influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, herpes simplex, and cytomegalovirus. And he even found time to make a significant contribution to prostate cancer research. In 1991, John paid me the great honour of spending a sabbatical leave year at the Walter and Liza Hall Institute of Medical Research. He wanted to learn molecular biology, particularly recombinant DNA techniques. And I was impressed that as an established scientist with an international reputation, he would get right down to the bench research and in a new area. Little did I know that an affair of the heart might have been a bit of an influence on the geography. <laughs> in 1992, John moved to Australia and he became the director of the Burnett Institute. The decade of his directorship saw a huge expansion and internationalisation of the Institute, which became part of the fabric of medical research within this AMREP precinct and which combined research and public health action in a new way. John also began to look outwards. He founded AMRI, the Australian Association of Medical Research Institutes, and became its first president. He was very active in the nascent Australian biotechnology industry, including for a brief period being chairman of AMRAD. All this work resulted in over 300 publications. Suzanne Crow first excelled as a medical laboratory technician. She got so bitten by the bug of research that she chose the arduous course of putting herself through medical school. She soon found her niche in the field of HIV AIDS. For example, showing that the virus affects not just T cells, as had been thought, but also monocytes and macrophages. On the practical side, she devised low-cost techniques for measuring CD4 T cell levels and blood viral loads. From the beginning, Suzanne recognised the vital importance of the international side doing much of her work for the developing countries in conjunction with the World Health Organization. Her base is also within the Burnett Institute, in association with Monash University, where she holds a personal chair, a very rare honour indeed, and with the Alfred Hospital. She's also done a monumental amount of work with the Australian Government, including with the National Health and Medical Research Council, and the Prime Minister's Science Council. She has over 200 influential publications. It was on her postdoc in San Francisco at UCSF that she met John Mills, and the rest, as they say, is history. 
It goes without saying that each of our superstars has gathered a multiplicity of international honours, distinctions and so forth. And I will only mention that they both have the Order of Australia. This festrift, which we now launch, will surely not be their last honour. Thank you.